Hi, in this session, we'll see how to implement the chain lock object in SAP ABAP. The concern of chain lock object is that uh, as we have this program which we made for the employee master, so if we do any changes in the existing value of the employee master, let's say date of birth, qualification, CTC, joining date, designation, marital status. So if we do any changes, system should capture those changes in the system and later we can develop a report to display to what are the different changes made at different time of time, uh, different times for the employee master. So for this, there's a concept of change log object in SAP and all the changes which are done that are captured in the table CDHDR which is the header level table which gives the chain number at what time the changes has been done by which user this is the header level table and for same we have one more table cdpos which gives the item level detail like what exact changes have been made at the field level like here the date of birth is changed here you can see the marital status is changed so we'll see how to implement log object now the prerequisites to implement the log object is that all the fields of table for which we want to capture the value changes the data element of that field should be marked as change document okay so what is mean by this just go to our table i have an existing table not taking example this is my table so what this indicate the data element of that fields should be marked as change document now go to the data element so here i have one data element as set dob1 double click here go here go to the further characteristics here we can see one checkbox is the change document so all the fields for which we want to capture the value changes should be marked as change document let's take one more example here I have the blood group. Here also I have marked as change document. I have qualification. For qualification, the change document is not marked. Okay. Now we have one more field as CTC. So this is also marked as change document, which is a standard field. So we'll add those data element, or we can also create new data element for our table. Now go to our table, employee master. Now this is our table. Now for data bird, I will change site item to my object to say DOB1. We can also create a new data element here if required. Change it up, object save the request. Now second, I will change here I have one more data element as Z blood group here I have done some spelling mistake at the field level but that we are not going to change right now keep it as it is I have marital status now for qualification I have one data element as qualification which is not marked as change document for marital status blood group in data of birth, we have change document active. Save, check, and activate. So this is the first prerequisite to lock the chain lock object. Now go to the next level. Now we have added four letter element, out of which three have the chain lock object as tick chain document. Now go to the program. Now what is the next step? How to create a log object first we have to go to a transition called scdo there we have to create a object class then system generate some runtime objects function guru function model and include program that in the second step we need to add a generated include program in our program then one function model is generated by the chain log object class that function model we need to call in our program we need to call in our program then whenever we are saving the data 
we have to pass both old value and new value to the function model. After that, we can see the value in the CTSDR and CDBOS table. So let's implement those five steps for our program. First, go to the SCDO transition code. Let me open one session. Go to transition code SCDO. Press enter. Click on create icon. Give the name as ZZEMP underscore master. We can give any name. Press continue. Press yes. Again, press yes. Save in a package. Continue. We give the description employee master change log. Now, here we need to provide the table name for which we have to capture the change log object. So, we will provide our table name as zzemp underscore master. Delete all this by mistake. Hmm. zzemp underscore master. So, it is our other table name. Now, as we are passing only single value to the table, so we will not mark this checkbox. This we have to use if we are passing the table. If you have to capture in the table format, then we can we have to mark this as check, this checkbox. So currently we are passing as a structure, so we will not mark this copy as internal table. Press enter. Save. Click on back icon. Select our object. Here click on generate update program. Click yes. We need to give some uh, we need to give the function group name which system create automatically. Here we'll keep the same name. Click on generate. Click yes. So we can see system has created multiple objects. One include program function group in the package this. We have one top uh, include program, which as I explained, we, we need to call in our program. Add the include program from the generated change of operating program. This include program we need to add in our program, and this is the function model. Okay, now let us activate. Just this is generated. We need to activate it. Hmm. Now the objects are activated. Now what we have to do? This top include program. This include program we have to add in our program. Go to our program. Include. Save in the same package. Now here, as we already declared tables, so this will be repeated in the include program. Let's have a check. Yes, same message we are giving. Just comment the previous table one because this is already declared in the include program. Save, check, and activate. Now we have created one object. We have added the include program. Okay. Now while saving, add the function model which is generated in SCD in a program. So go here. Before that, as this structure we have used on the screen, which is which will be having the current values. So what we will do, we declare one more to hold the old values. This will contain the old values. Declare one structure to contain the old values. Now here, declare some more variables. Now declare one internal table of type cdtxt. So I am passing as JT underscore ICDTXT type standard of CDTXT and declare an object ID type CD SGR object ID. So what we have done, we need to define one more structure of the same table type and 
one internal table we need to declare of type cdtxt cdtxt okay and one object id we need to declare now we we'll declare we have done with the data declaration part now go to the our before saving we need to call our chain of functional model go to screen objects here in the user command we have saved so what we'll do before saving okay let's go inside before modifying the data we'll perform the chain lock okay and let's copy perform change log double click here click yes the same program now first select the old values select all from z z emp underscore master into corresponding fields of gs underscore master we have this structure for to hold all values where employee id equal to Underscore. We have a structure as p underscore employee id. So this structure will hold the old values. Now what? Okay, like this we have declared. Now in the object id. As we declare one variable as object ID, so we have to pass the primary key of the table here. So our object ID is employee ID. We'll pass the employee ID here because for which this object we want to capture the chain lock object. I have to write select single here. Select single. Now next, call the function model. So which function model we have to call? So this is, uh, this is the function model which is generated when we created the chain lock object class. This we need to call in our program. Go to pattern, enter the function model name. So you can see all the input expert parameter are here. Now in this table, pass the table which we have created gt underscore we declare one table okay it is not activated that's why it's not taking that here we have declared this table pass this table here now object id which is which is nothing but the primary key of our table the code is site equal to capture by which the code the object is changed time will be the same use it eit system time at what time change is done that will be the site data and the user name which user has done the changes now here we need to open this objection indicator as you because we are, we are monitoring only the changes so this indicator will be u update let me check here yes now in this n underscore or table name we have to pass the new value which, you, which are coming from the screen so which well, uh, new value we have in the structure gs underscore emp master and here we have to pass the old value gs underscore emp underscore master underscore o now here again in the last one open this comment and pass here as u 
save, check, and activate. So what we have done, we pass the object ID, the code, time, date, username, change object indicator as you. We have passed the old and new values and this internal table. Before saving, we have selected the old values from the database table into our DC structure. Go to the change mode. Click here. Test. Enter the employee ID. Now let's do some changes in the data, but let me keep as 19 studio one. 1989. Let me change the third group. It's zero positive. Let me change the CTC. Now enter the qualification because for qualification we are not use delta element with the change log. Okay, so we have done the changes in the data word field in the blood group in the qualification and in the ctc click on save click yes so data says successfully now we'll go to the cds dl table first cd hdr so which uh, object class we created zz emp underscore master this is the object which we have created object class so we can see one object log is generated by user developer at this on the 4th of August at this time. Now let's see the item level changes. What changes is done in this object? Copy the chain number. Go to the table CDPOS SC16. Pass the same table uh, object class. Now object ID is or employee ID because for this object ID we in the changes. By which chain number? This is the chain number. Go again. Now, here we can see the blood group. Field name is blood group. The value is changed from AB plus to O positive. The city uh, is changed from this value to this value. And the date of birth is changed from this value to this value. The qualification is not there. Because as I explained you, for the qualification data element, we have not marked as change document. Now, let's do some more changes. Go back. No. Again, change the data, but here only the data, but I will change. Click on save icon. Do you want to save? Yes. Again, go to CDSDR table. Now you can see second change object is generated. Copy this change number. Pass one more value here. Hmm. So we can see here in the first change of object, we have changed values for those three fields. In the second one, you have done value changes only to data word field. So, like this way, we can implement the change log object in our program. And later, we can create a report and we can just uh, display the changes we can give one we can provide one uh, menu bar here to show changes and you can call the report based on the city sdr and the city pos values so like this way we have finished our next topic of chain log object how to implement chain log object in sap app thank you